हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सुनील एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आईटी जंक्शन फॉर ऑल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सिनेरियो बेस्ड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर पार्ट सेवन फर्स्ट द इनपुट टेबल ऑर्डर टेबल हैज थ्री कॉलम्स ऑर्डर आईडी प्रोडक्ट आईडी एंड द क्वांटिटी नाउ विल सी द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट राइट एस्क्यूएल क्वेरी which will explode the above data into single unit level records as shown below so we'll go back to order table if you see the first row having product id equal to 1 it is having quantity as 5 so what is expected in the output table that there there should be five entry for this order id 1 having quantity equal to 1 so if you see 1 2 3 4 5 all five rows have order id equal to 1 uh, having quantity equal to 1 similarly if you see the second row order id equal to 2 we are having quantity as 1 so we are expected we are expe uh, it is expected that there should be only one entry in the output table so as you can see in the row number 6 we have only one entry for order id equal to 2 we have only one entry now similarly for a third row we have quantity as 3 so if you see the output table for order id equal to 3 we have three entry in the output table so this is what is expected uh, in the output table now let's see how we can solve this question in the sql server so we can solve this problem by using recursive cte so in recursive cte basically there are two parts so there is first part is anchor query actually this is the base query where the result of which will be used in the recursive part so this is our recursive part so first we'll start with anchor query so i have given ct underscore order as a recursive table name wherein i am selecting order id product id and one as a quantity i have given one as a quantity because in the output table every time we want quantity should be displayed as one and then i am i have taken one as a count so this is this i have used for a counter purpose that that you will be able to see later and i am selecting from the order table so if i run this piece piece of code so uh, we got the base result so we will be using this base result in the recursive part so what we have to do every time we have to uh, I, I, we have to replicate this row for product or pr product 1 since the quant original quantity is 5 uh, 5 we want this row to be repeated 5 times similarly for order number 2 the uh, original quantity is 1 so we want this row to be to be uh, displayed only one times so if we see our recursive part so what i am doing over here i am joining order table so this is our original table and we are joining inner joining we are making inner join with ct order so what is ct order this is the table which i have executed just now this base table so on a dot product id is equal to b dot product id i am joining on the product id column and i am making a filter here where b dot counter plus 1 should be less than equal to quantity so here quantity is referring from the original table that is a table a is order table if you run this piece of code order table we have the original quantity as 5 so since the initially we have counter as 1 so when it when it came to recursive part so it count was increased by 2 and this uh, since uh, a dot quantity is equal to 5 so this condition is satisfied and row will be added up because this there is a union all condition is there so uh, recursive part executes till the where clause becomes null so in this fashion all our uh, all the three base query will get executed here uh, till the quantity is quantity becomes null i mean uh, quantity uh, in the where clause fetches null result and it will provide all the uh, all the necessary rows which is required in our output table so finally i am selecting order id product id quantity from the 
CT recursive table and ordering by product ID and order ID. So if you run this full piece of code, you will be able to see the same result which is expected. Order, order ID equal to order 1 has came 5 times and order 2 has came one time and order 3 has come three times so if you have liked this video please like it and uh, please subscribe my channel and if you know any other way of solving this question please do write in the comment section thank you and thanks for watching